Hi. Today I am going to describe you how to process the consumption based planning in SAP. Generally, companies face the problem that their customers want finished good available in less time than it takes to produce them. This becomes more difficult in a situation where the number of input materials are too much. In order to achieve the above objective or to remove the above problem or to overcome the above problem, SAP has provided a tool for consumption based planning. Let us see how this is being done. Let us move to the SAP This is our SAPG screen. First of all, we will check for a material its stock position. For this, we will use the T code MD04. Press enter. Currently, this material OCRM11 having a quantity of 298 okay now we will configure this material for consumption based planning you will go to t code mm02 and we will see the MRP1 view of this material. Press enter. Press enter. Press enter. This is the MRP1 view of the OCRM11. We have set MRP type as V1 manual reorder point with external requirement. Reorder point we have taken 100 and lot size HB replenish to maximum stock level. Whenever the stock level is reached to the reorder point, replenish it and the maximum stock level is 500. You can see this is the consensus based analysis sawtooth graph. Here we have set reorder point as 100 and the maximum stock level 500. Okay. So this setting we have carried over here maximum stock level is 500 and the reorder point is 100 along with that MRP type is V1 and the lot size is HB we will save it again we will go back to our requirement scheme we have a stock of 298 since the stock is 298 and if we try to execute the MRP let us see what happens we will use the T code MD02 for running the consumption based planning MRP setting this is the MRP setting for consumption based planning we will take the purchase order requisition in opening period. 
schedule line we are not considering over here mrp list yes mrp list to be created planning mode is 3 means delete and recreate planning data let us execute it for execution we will press enter it will ask you recheck the parameters and once again press enter key mrp run has taken place so, wonderful tool of sap in the background lot of things happens this is the very simple setting even in a complicated setting this tool functions very efficiently let us see what happened to our stock refresh it see nothing has happened over here why because we already have material of 298 quantity and our setting is like this if the material stock reaches to below 100 only then new purchase requisition should be raised so let us draw some material from here so let us move and draw some material for drawing a material we will use the t code mygo migo okay this is our screen of mygo here we are going to issue some material to a cost center for this we will use the t code uh, a07 code and it will be gi for cost center so we will issue this material to a cost center what is the material material is oc11 press enter key go to quantity we have 298 quantities so we will draw 200 quantities so that the stock level come below 100 we will press ea is the unit we will press enter ok now where we have to move we have to move the plant same storage location is spin ok now the partner is it is being issued to the cost center so we will enter the cost center ok press enter now check it for error there is no error we will save either post or you can directly save it it will do all the things posting and the saving both at a time one by one ok now material document has been posted now we will move to the stock view stock public requirement list as on time and date press the refresh button see we we are seeing that our stock quantity has reduced to 98 because 200 quantity has been issued to a cost center now we will run the MRP again ok go back press enter press enter MRP has been run now let us see the stock position press enter refresh it now one purchase equation has been generated for 402 quantity why because we already have 98 quantity and our maximum stock 
what which which can which we can is at a time had or this material is 500 so requisition is of 402 quantity because the stock is 98 using this purchase requisition we can create a supply order so that our stock label may again reach to the 500 let us see how we will convert the purchase requisition to a purchase order press double click over here see here is a button create purchase order convert purchase requisition to purchase order press enter we will get a purchase creates purchase order creation screen enter the name of the company to whom we are going to place the supply order press the purchase organization company code press enter which material OC RM11 press enter enter plant enter the quantity 498 402 402 I think let us check it again Ninety-eight was a four hundred two. Okay, four hundred two quantity. We are going to purchase storage location is spin. Press enter. Check for any error. There is no error. Either you post it or you just save it. Supply order will be created. supply order has been created now again see the stock position we will go to MD04 seeing the stock Press enter. See, purchase order has been created for 402 quantity. Now we will receive this material so that our stock position may change to 500 and we may use it for further operations. So let us do the MIGO for receiving this material, moving it to the stock store stock MIGO okay this is the MIGO screen we have to receive the material so it is good received we will keep the purchase order number it is 51 press enter Okay. Quantity 402 quantity we will move to the stock where we have to move purchase order detail. Okay. Check for any error. There is no error, only warning is there that you can receive this material by 4 to 19. No problem, we can receive it today also. Okay, we will save it. After saving, we will see again what is the stock list. 
refresh it see our available stock has become 500 and there is a purchase requisition still waiting for replenish the stock once this 500 will become 0 or 100 below 100 a new purchase equation will be created after running the MRP and your production process and availability of the raw material will always be ensured. This example is for one material or, or, only but in real situation we can use huge number of items and carry out the consumption based planning process using the tool MRP of SAP. In our next video, I will show you other combination of MRP. Keep listening my videos. Thank you very much.